Barakatay Yahawa, Barakatay Yahawa Shai, Kal Halayam La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Barakaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahawa, which is the, the name of the Heavenly Father. <coughs> Bahasham means in the name. Yahawa Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barakaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and necessity, always in charity. So, Brother Matati from Great Millstone Camp, the great blah, blah, the branch out in Des Moines, Shabbat Shalom. And um, you see the title of the lesson is entitled The Spirit. You know, and uh, what we're going to go into is pretty much speaking about what the Spirit is. You know, because um, you might hear brothers say, you know, stay in the Spirit or walk in the Spirit or, you know, different things pertaining, you know, to the spirit and might not fully understand what the spirit is. So without further ado, we'll hop right into it. It's the book of St. John 6 and 63. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words is the spirit. You see, so when we say walk in the spirit or we say stay in the spirit, we're talking about walking in the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, staying in the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, because it speaks about in the book of Isaiah 8 and 20, it says to the law and to the testimony, right? Let's get it. Isaiah 8 and 20, it says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, right, this spirit. It is because there is no light in them. So the word, the spirit is synonymous. And even the light. It speaks about in John, the third chapter it says light has come into the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Well, what's the light? The light being our Lord, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah being what? The word made flesh. You see? So if we say walk in the word or walk in the spirit. We're talking about walking in the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and the teachings of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? Now the teachings consist of different um what's the word I'm looking for? Different categories for lack of a better word, man. You know? It teaches us uh uh, uh how to view ourselves. Like, for instance, the word tells us, according to Romans 12 and 3, it's Romans 12 and 3. It says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think him of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the most I have dealt to every man, the measure of faith. So there is a level of humility that that we must have within ourselves when walking in the spirit, knowing that it's not of us. But it's of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why it says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Right? Because you got guys that come into the faith. Or somewhat into the faith, man. Because the true faith, man. See, walking. To say that you in the faith is 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 is, is to walk after. The teachings, man. It tells us in the book of uh, James, show me thy faith without thy works. I will show thee my faith by my works, man. So you got guys that say they come into the faith, but here it is. They got long hair. See, that guy never came into the faith, man. You got guys that say they came into the faith, but yet they still walking with this proud demeanor about themselves. He never came into the faith, man. You see? So, <laughs> you know. That's why I, you know, wanted to correct myself in saying that. But you got guys that that come into the acknowledgement of, you know, our Lord Yahweh Shai. I say it like that, and they think it's all about themselves, right? They get a certain um, position within within the brotherhood, and then they start the Lord over the brothers. See. Walking in the spirit, meaning walking according to these words, allows us to walk and, and, and think and act according to how the precepts tell us to. It says if we are in a position of leadership, then what? We're the servant of, a, you know, of all the brothers, man. 
roughly paraphrasing. It says, he that is this chief among you. Now, hold on, let me hold, get that there. Let me hold this. It's the book of Matthew 20 and 27, and it's written in red, so it's our Lord speaking. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. <clears throat> Mark 10 and 44. Bam. Call like Abba Shemiel Shah. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. So it comes with a mentality, man. And that mentality shows us that it's not of us. This back in uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels in this body that we in, man. This body of death. Oh, wretched man that I am, as Paul uh, uh, said. And if he said that, how much... <laughs> How much more wretched are we, man? You know, or I, I speak for myself. How much? How I, How much more wretched am I? Right? It says, "But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High, and not of us, man." So once again, so being able to walk in the Spirit is being able to, you know, have these things within our minds, within our spirit. So that we're mindful of these things. This is what staying in the spirit means, or this is an example of walking in the spirit. Um, I believe it's First Corinthians four. Yep, First Corinthians four and seven. For who maketh thee to differ from another, and what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why doest thou glory as if thou hadst not received it, man? You know, so you got guys that think that they made themselves what they are, man. And that's not walking in the spirit. That's not staying in the spirit. So this is an example of a category, you know, for once again, for lack of a better word, this is how we should view ourselves, man. The scripture speaks about uh, 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 the Lord will not forsake a contrite and broken spirit in Isaiah, the 66th chapter. He says a contrite heart. Uh, how is it worded? It says to this man will I look. Him that is of a broken spirit and of a contrite heart and trembleth at my word. Roughly paraphrasing, right? But let's get it. Isaiah 66 and 2. For all those things hath my hand made and all those things have been, saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But to this man will I look. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. And this word poor goes into lowly, man. Humble. You see? So to be able to walk in the spirit or to be able to stay in the spirit, we got to have a, a humble opinion of ourselves, man. We got to have, going back to that Romans 12, we can't view ourselves highly than what we ought to think. That's just a, a, an example of. Uh, of one of the categories of staying in the spirit or walking in the spirit. Another one is the dietary laws. When we come in, in, into the acknowledgement of who we are, we what? We apply Leviticus the 11th chapter. We put away the swine. We put away the shrimp, the crab, the lobster. Right? We put away the, the rabbit, the possum, the coon, or whatever, you know, the, all that bullshit that Jake used to eat. The gator, clams, and oysters, and all those different things, man. You put away all those things, right? And as we grow in the faith, as we walk in the spirit, because it tells us that the pathway of the just shines bright and brighter. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 4. In 18, but the path of the just is as the shining light. Now we know what the light is. The light is the word that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. So... The longer we in this faith, the more understanding we should uh, 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 be gathering. Peter told us in 2 Peter, the third chapter, he told us to, um, let's get it. I used to be able to, <laughs> to quote him, but my quote game has been atrocious lately, man. Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh HaMashiach, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. So this thing is about growth. So as we grow within the knowledge, we, we become mindful of our diet. That's why it tells us here in the book of Sirach. Sirach 30 and 25, a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You see? 
So like I, like I said, when we come into the faith, we put away those abominations, right? We understand that those things are not food. So now we know what? We walk, we walk in the spirit of what? The lamb and the goat and the chicken, you know, and the beef. But see, and all those things have to be done in moderation. Because that's, once again, walking in the spirit or staying in the spirit, you start to grow in the spirit and you start to understand things, you know? Just a personal testimony of mine, you know, uh, you know, I put away the abominations, but first, the, uh, first coming into the faith, now I'm eating Vice Lord burgers. <laughs> For you know, uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a burger, right? It's a burger that's topped with gyro meat, with cheese and you know lettuce, tomato, you know, and uh, that's a burger in Chicago. You know, for the you know the Chicago brothers know what I'm talking about. But um, you know, Jake was eating that Philly cheese steaks, you know, dipped. You know, going outrageous with those different things, man. Right? And then what? Jake weight start to fluctuate. <laughs> you know? Then all of a sudden, Jake, you know, 60, 70 pounds, uh heavy, <laughs> heavier than what he uh, uh than what he was when he first came into the faith, man. You know, now those things are lawful for us to eat, but now what? It speaks about Speaks about moderation. This is the book of uh, Sirach 37 and 27. My son, prove thy soul and thy life and see what is evil for it and give that not unto it. So things might be lawful for us, as Paul told us. Let's grab that. And this is what walking in the spirit means, you know. Now, as a whole, we all abstain from the abominations, the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, those different things, you know. As a whole, we abstain from, you know, certain things that's clearly outside of, uh, of walking in the spirit, outside of our guidelines. But also coming into the faith and examining yourself, knowing your own self, we understand that there's guidelines that's, 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 that's tailor-made specifically for us. And that's why Paul said this. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So it might be something that's lawful, but it's taking me out of the spirit. It's not expedient. When you go into this word expedient, it says profitable help, right? It's not profitable for my furtherance within the faith. You see? You can have multiple women. That's not unlawful. But having multiple women can, can become a distraction and it can hinder your growth and your attention towards your how about Shami Shai. You see? So those are things that we can't be brought under the power of, man. Those things can, can prove or it can show itself to be evil to our furtherance in the faith. You see? And each and every one of us got to know ourselves to know those different um, things within ourselves, man. Right. First Corinthians 10 and 23. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. And the word edify means to build, to build upon ourselves, man. Right. So going back to Sirach. Sirach 37 and 27, my son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. For all things are not profitable, expedient, right? For all men, neither hath every soul pleasure in everything. Be not unsatiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats. You see? It's locking. So these are all. Uh, once again, for lack of a better word, these are all categories of walking in the spirit, staying in the spirit, meaning within the guidelines of the precepts. It says, verse 30, for excess of meats bring a sickness and surfeiting will turn into cola. 
By surfeiting have many perished, but he that taketh heed prolongeth his life. You see? So we should implement, as we grow in the faith, we should implement what? More fruits, more leafy greens, more vegetables within our diet. Take better care of ourselves while we're in this while we're in this uh, 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 this body, man. To the best of our ability. You know. And that's that's growing in the faith, growing in the knowledge, staying in the spirit, walking in the spirit. You know, and we learn these things, of course, first and foremost, through Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah that open our hearts that allows us to uh, understand it. You know, but we ask for these things according to prayer, like it says in James, the first chapter, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of the Lord that giveth liberally and upbraideth not. And let us ask in faith, not wavering, because we won't receive nothing if we doubt man. And as we pray for these things, guess what? The Lord is going to put us in positions to exercise the things that we're praying for. You know? Another category is what, man? You know, uh, bridle in our thoughts. It tells us here in the book of Sirach, the 23rd chapter. Sirach 23 and 1, it says, O Lord, Father and Governor of all my whole life, leave me not to their counsels and let me not fall by them. Now, what is he speaking of? You go back a chapter into the 27th verse of this 22nd chapter. It says, who shall set a watch before my mouth and the seal of wisdom upon my lips that I fall not suddenly by them and that my tongue destroy me not. So going back to verse one in Sirach 23, that them is talking about what? Our tongue, man. Right? Mouth and lips, our tongue. Because the scripture says death and, 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 and life is in the power of of the tongue so we got to be mindful of the things we allow to come out of our mouths that's why it tells us in Sirach the 21st chapter Sirach 21 and 26 the heart of fools is in their mouth meaning they say whatever the hell is on their mind but the mouth of the wise is in their heart so we're careful to think before we speak and that's another category of walking in the spirit and that pretty much ties in with um you know bridling our thoughts Back in Sirach 23 and 2, because Yahweh Shah told us through the abundance of the heart, through the abundance of the, the mind, the mouth speaketh. You see? So this is a very important, uh, uh, once again, for lack of a better word, this is a very important category of walking in the spirit. Walking within the guidelines of the precepts. You know, and once again, as we study, as we pray, as we watch the apostles, as we, uh, you know, read it. We can see the different, you know, um, precepts that allows us to, to 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 mold our character into what's pleasing unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, or to be allowed, we're, we're allowing ourselves to be molded by the Lord, by the Spirit, you know. Hopefully, I said that correctly. But Sirach twenty three and two, who will set scourges over my thoughts? In the discipline of wisdom over my heart, that they spare me not for my ignorances, and it pass not by my sins. You see? So who has set this scourge of wisdom over my mind? It tells us in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter. It's Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 15. To think therefore, therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom, to her is being wisdom. Verse 12 tells us what it is. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such that seek her. So we're speaking about wisdom. Verse 15, to think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. So that's that scourge that's over our hearts. See? That's that scourge. And our wisdom, according to Deuteronomy 4 and 5, is what? These laws, statutes, and judgments. So it's the precepts that's written within the book. Because these laws, statutes, and judgments is not just written in the, uh, in the law of Moses, man. It's the totality of the book. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah, which is our wisdom, which is the light, which is the word, he comes in a volume of the book. It is written of him to do thy will, O power, O father. So if we're hoping to walk 
in the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, then we have to eat the whole roll as it as as it was commanded us in Ezekiel the third chapter. Verse 3, Sirach 23 and 3. Let my, lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction, and I fall before my adversaries, and my enemy rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. You see? So these are all different categories of just, you know, staying in the spirit or walking in the spirit, man. You know, and, and we have to make sure that every aspect of our lives is 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 in guidelines or is within the within the the statutes, you know. Of the precepts, man. Because when you go into that word statue. Because I know it says a statue as in... um. It should be another definition. <laughs> Let's see. Just look at a regular, regular dictionary. Oh my God. We're just, we're just, we're rocking like this. Yep, see? statute a written law passed by a legislative body a law regulation enactment a rule of an organization or institution look in biblical use a law or decree made by the most high you know so we have to stay within these statutes you know to the best of our ability you know but that's a good place to end it you know i just wanted to you know edify lord as well i hope it's edifying you know, on what on what walking in the spirit is, on what staying in the spirit is. Because it tells us here in the book of Galatians. Um, this is a good one. This is not what I was looking for, but this is a good one. This is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, <laughs> right? What's the spirit? It's this word. Shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So continuing what we got going on, man. You know, stay in the spirit. <laughs> you see? As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So I believe it's the fifth chapter I was looking for. Galatians 5. In 16, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You see? So walk in the spirit is what? Making sure that these different precepts is within our mind, that we're mindful of them, you know, so that we stay within the boundaries of them, you know? So Lord will, I hope this was edifying. Thawadi Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai for giving me a spirit to do this lesson. And like I said, there's different, you know, uh, categories of walking in the spirit, man. It also t uh, tells us how to treat each other, right? It says, let every man esteem another better than himself, right? Yahweh Shah said that uh, uh, treat men as you, ought, as you want to be treated, you know? It, it tells us how to treat our women. It tells us how to raise our children, you know? So, hey man, the Lord didn't leave us lacking, man. As he said in the book of Jeremiah, he said he would give us pastors, he would give us shepherds that would feed us and not leave us lacking, man. And the Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh for that. You know, so once again, Lord, well, I hope this is out of fine.
I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity always in charity. Shabbat Shalom.